the most obvious example of chaos in our times wherein its application has changed is that concerning the laws governing smoking right you hear the usual controversy among people is it makru isn't it makru some people say it's haram is it haram it's not in the quran so how could it be haram muslims have always said it was makru how can somebody come along today and say it's haram They're asking the question now, what about smoking? Is it haram or not? Well, smoking cigarettes obviously is a very bad thing. We know that today. Many studies have shown us that smoking kills people. Smoking causes cancer. It causes birth defects in children. And so therefore, it's totally and completely haram. Not to mention the fact that it's also very addictive. It is a drug. Again, that's haram. It's a waste of money. That's also haram. But the biggest thing of all is that it's haram because of the damage that it does to people. It's not something that's permissible in Islam at all. Zero. So if you know someone is smoking, encourage them to stop as soon as possible. If you smoke, ask Allah to take away this horrible thing from you because it is a very horrible and bad habit. First, whether is cigarette smoking allowed or not? And there are various fatwas given. Previously, the ulama used to give a fatwa. It is makhru based on the knowledge that they had. But today, science has advanced and the scholars have changed the opinion. Based on the Quranic verse of Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, verse number 195, which says that do not make your own hands the cause of your own destruction. Do not make your own hands the cause of your own destruction. According to latest research it tells us today that according to the World Health Organization, there are more than a million people every year who only die because of cigarette smoking. Out of the 90% of the people that die, due to lung disease, due to lung cancer, is due to cigarette smoking. Out of the 70% of the people that die because of bronchitis, die because they smoke cigarettes. Out of the 25% who die because of cardiovascular disease, is because they smoke cigarettes. It is nothing but slow poisoning. Cigarette contains nicotine and tar. Leave aside how it looks. Leave aside how it looks. According to the latest fatwas given by more than 400 ulamas, they say cigarette smoking is haram because the Quran says, do not make your own hands the cause of your own destruction and not only does it harm you it even harm your neighbors because the research tells us today that the wives of the chain smokers they have more chances of having lung cancer because passive smoking is more dangerous active smoking directly is harmful passive smoking means the smoke which you exhale out and if somebody else inhales that it is more dangerous there are various ill effects when you smoke it causes blackening of the lips Blackening of the teeth, damage to the gums, blackening of the fingers, it damages the throat, it causes peptic ulcer, it causes constipation, it causes loss of libido, it causes loss of vigor, the person's appetite is gone, it even causes loss of memory. So based on all these researches, today's ulama, there are more than 400 fatwas given saying that cigarette smoking is haram. According to the Quranic verse, Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 195, which says, do not make your own hand the cause of your own destruction. So irrespective of whether it looks good or not, it is not allowed in Islam.
Anyone that smokes cigarettes, know here and now you are the brother of the devil. <laughs>